Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to find out the equation of a straight line which is perpendicular to another given line. Now in this diagram I have a line which is in the blue color. Let's say that's the line A and its equation has been provided AX plus BY plus C equals 0 and we have to find out the equation of a straight line which is perpendicular to the given line A. Now in this diagram I also have a straight line in the green color. I have named it as line B and let's assume that the straight line B is perpendicular to straight line A and now we have to find out what is the equation of the straight line B. From the given equation of straight line A can we somehow find the slope of the line A? So let's try to find out the slope here. Let's try to convert the equation of straight line A into the y equals mx plus c form. So then let's isolate y. So from here we can say by is equal to negative a times x and minus c and from here we can say y equals negative a over b if we divide both sides by b right. So then this becomes negative a over b times x minus negative c over b and we can clearly see that the slope of the straight line A is like this negative A over B. Now let's assume that the slope of the straight line B is M. I'm simply making an assumption that the slope of the straight line B is equal to M and because A and B the two straight lines are perpendicular to each other the product of their slope would be equal to negative 1. I have already created a separate video on this topic. I have provided the link in the description. Feel free to watch it. So if two lines are perpendicular to each other then the product of their slopes would be equal to negative 1. So from here can we then say that the product of the slopes of these two lines which is negative a over b that is the slope of the straight line A times the slope of the straight line B is M. So this will be equal to negative 1. This product will be equal to negative 1. And from here what would be M then? Well from here we can easily calculate M. So M would be equal to B over A. So we have found the slope of the straight line B in terms of A and B which are the coefficients in the equation of straight line A. So now that we know the slope of straight line B, let's try to come up with the equation of straight line B. Well, then B's equation can be written like this. If we write the general form like this y equals mx plus c in this case I am using d let me use d because c is already in use for the straight line A's equation. So here if b's equation is like this and we already know the value of m so let me simply substitute it right here m is actually b over a the b and the a they are the coefficients of y and x from the first equation from the equation of straight line A. So this is b over a times x plus d and if we multiply both sides by a then what do we get? Well from here we get a times y is equal to b times x plus a times d and from here if we bring everything to the right hand side then we have 0 is equal to b times x minus a times y plus a times d and from here we can say that b times x I'm just writing it over here b times x minus a times y plus the a times d I'm going to use lambda in place of a times d. So lambda is like another constant right. So let me use lambda there then we can say this is equal to 0 and that is the general form of equation of those perpendicular lines which are perpendicular to the given straight line a and if you look at the diagram you can easily see that we can actually draw infinite number of perpendicular lines on the straight line A because if we are not given any other information any other condition then we can essentially draw as many perpendicular lines as we want because like you see B is a perpendicular line there and if we draw another perpendicular line for example I could draw another perpendicular line like this then we could draw another perpendicular line like this and we can keep on doing this forever. So that is why the equation of the perpendicular line that we have come up with here that has an unknown which is lambda because a is a known number b is a known number because they are part of the given equation. However lambda is the unknown and somehow if we can find out the value of lambda then we will have a specific equation that means we will have a specific perpendicular line but this particular equation the general form 
form of the equation that we are seeing here this is actually a family of perpendicular lines on the given straight line a so this equation actually represents a family of straight lines which are perpendicular to the straight line a so let me make a quick note here so here i have noted that this equation actually represents a family of straight lines which are perpendicular to the given straight line a now if we are given one additional information let's say for example if we are told that the straight line also passes through a point whose coordinates are alpha comma beta so suppose we have to come up with the perpendicular line which also passes through the point alpha comma beta then obviously if we say okay if straight line b also passes through the point let's say it's a point p and its coordinates are alpha comma beta then obviously these coordinates would satisfy b's equation so if we substitute alpha in place of x and beta in place of y in this new equation that we just derived then what we get well then we get b times alpha so in place of b times x i am writing alpha and then minus a times in place of y let me write beta a times beta plus lambda is equal to zero and from here we can easily calculate the value of lambda and lambda would be equal to a times beta minus b times alpha and once we know the value of lambda then our equation becomes like this then our equation will be b times x minus a times y plus the value of lambda which is actually a times beta minus b times alpha all of that equal to zero so if we are also given this additional piece of information then this becomes the equation of the perpendicular line b which is perpendicular on the given straight line a and another easy way to remember this would be something like this we know that the point slope form of the equation of a straight line is like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1 now in this case we know the value of m that we have already derived which is b over a so here then we can write it as if we know that this new straight line also passes through the point p whose coordinates are alpha comma beta then we can say y minus beta is equal to what is the value of m that is b over a times x minus alpha so we can remember it like this also this is actually very easy to remember that if you are given the equation of a straight line you can easily find the equation of its perpendicular line which also contains the point p whose coordinates are alpha comma beta i hope everything made sense so far now let's take an example suppose we have been given the equation of a straight line which is let's say 2 times x plus 3 times y and minus 1 is equal to 0 and we have to find the equation of a straight line which will be perpendicular to this line and also it will contain a point p whose coordinates are like this let's say 10 comma 15 right so if we imagine this equation to be a times x plus b times y plus c is equal to 0 then clearly you can see that a is equal to positive 2 and b is equal to positive 3 and c is equal to negative 1 now what would be the equation of the perpendicular line well let's try to use this particular form which is actually in the green box right here so i'm going to use that form then we can quickly write it as y minus beta and here actually this is our alpha and this is our beta so alpha is actually positive 10 and beta is positive 15 so y minus beta y minus positive 15 is equal to b over a now what is b well b is actually 3 positive 3 and a is positive 2 so b over a is 3 over 2 times x minus the value of alpha alpha is positive 10 so this is the desired equation and this is the equation of the line which is perpendicular to the given straight line now if we simplify this little bit we can write it as now if we multiply both sides sides by 2 we can write it as 2 times y minus 15 is equal to 3 times x minus 10 and from here let's remove the parenthesis then we get 2 times y minus 30 is equal to 3 times x minus 30 and from here if we bring everything to the right hand side we can say well then 0 is equal to 3 times x minus 30 and minus 2 times y and plus 30 and obviously the positive 30 and negative 30 they will cancel out each other so now we are going to be left with 3 times x minus 2 times y is equal to 0 and that is the answer so that is the equation of the straight line which will be perpendicular to the given straight line whose equation is 2 times 
x plus 3 times y minus 1 equals 0. And of course, the new straight line contains the point 10, 15. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.